You guys, I just finished filming this wig video and I like it. It looks good. I love it. I don't even want to remove it, okay? Normally, once I finish filming wig videos, except I'm going out, normally I just yank it off, pack it back and go about my day, clean my makeup and go about my day. But today, I want to just look different. Let me show them that. That quiet, devious lady that you guys used to see, she's something, oh. she's something. Because most times when I'm going for school runs, I just wear my leggings, my t-shirts, trainers or my shoes, whatever, and I just go out of the house. Sometimes I tie scarves, while other times I wear my regular wig. That my regular wig that is like a short um, yaki bob or something, I'll be afro kinky bob, whatever. That's my normal school runs uniform. But today, I'm going to show up with red lips, wig on point. But anyway, how you guys doing? My kids are in school except Sophia. Sophia, today is Tuesday, so it's her day off. You guys, I'm back from school runs. I just wanted to show you guys my face. This is like six or seven hours later. I haven't dabbed anything and my makeup is still intact. Can you guys see this? My makeup is still intact. It might be normal for some people, but for me, that is a shocker because me, once I finish doing my makeup, the oil has started coming out. I started dabbing, okay? The oil has started coming out. I mean, around my nose area is a little bit more shiny. Around here is a little bit more shiny. But normal me before, I would have dabbed here like 20 times because it would be very greasy and separating. I've picked my kids from school. Mind you, I was even running, you know, because I was kind of late. I ran to Eva's class and ran back and still no sweats. No, I, I, even, I even sweated a little bit, but still my makeup is still intact. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, anyway, guys, let me just clear here, arrange here, get ready to prepare dinner and then have my bath and relax. But I need to go and remove my makeup first because I can't stand it. Like... <laughs> I don't know how people do it, but I cannot stand makeup on my face anymore. I have a surprise for you. What is that? See! Si. <laughs> <laughs> I missed them! Sophia, I can let's have a mini phone. Then you can play with the other ones. Thank you. You're welcome. You can play with the other ones. Me, I can play with the other ones. No, I mean my sisters. Okay, they should play with the old ones. Uh -huh. So you, you play with all these ones? Yeah. You know, you have to share now. Fine. Mm -hmm. But Cora can... I'm Do you have some... <laughs> <laughs> so, I got this set of dolls <laughs> for Sophia <laughs> because she likes dolls. And I don't know what happened to the doll she had. One of the heads came off. And that is the actual Barbie doll. She has other kinds of teddies and stuff. And anytime her sisters are playing with their own dolls, Sophia will be crying. <laughs> so I bought this set for her. I bought it on Amazon. I actually like it. Look. You want one for yourself, don't you? Um, not really. You don't really care for dolls. You? You um, don't want so dolls. You look like somehow you look like her. So this is a coach. Oh, wait, let me, let me open it. I need to open it for you guys.
don't know who arranged this nonsense here, but let me just ignore it. This looks like somebody somebody removed chips from here. Maybe it's Korasha. Move chips from here and then packed everything like this. Is that how is that how it was before the anyway? Let me just let me just remove my eye. So let me get a goosey soup. Goosey soup. Yeah. So this is a goosey soup without vegetable. So I usually just add vegetable and then uh, warm it. I add vegetable when I want to warm it. Ah, I hope this thing will melt too. Let me put this in water. Hi guys, what's up? You guys, I received some packages today and I don't know why I see it. I've been married to my husband for how many years now? I can't even remember at this point. But the man still shocks me. His newest obsession is uniforms. So he's the one that does laundry most times. In fact, majority of the times he's the one that does laundry. And after doing laundry, he's the one that irons all the kids' uniforms. Like, he loves it. Let me not say he loves it, but he does it diligently. Like, every Sunday, he brings out all their uniforms, irons everything, hangs everything for the week, right? But I noticed that in the past few weeks, he has been obsessed with buying uniforms. He would just drive out, go to George, go and buy uniforms. <laughs> because when we, went, when we went back to school shopping, we didn't find enough uniforms for them. And I've noticed that here, they're not really that strict with uniforms. You know how in Nigeria, our uniforms are our uniforms. They even give you the, all the uniforms from the school, right? Most times it's the school that supplies the uniforms. But here, yeah, I've seen people wear some things that I'm like, is this really uniform? Like they can wear, you know here they'll give you like, oh, wear white, white, white polo shirt and black trousers or black skirt or blue skirt or gray skirt, that kind of thing. So you'll see some uniforms that are like, in fact, in Sophia's preschool, Sophia comes to preschool as if she's going for presidential debate or something <laughs> because she's always dressed very properly. But notice that other children in the preschool, they are wearing jeans, they are wearing leggings, they are wearing colorful skirts. They only wear the school's um, jumper, right? Even inside the jumper itself, they'll be wearing something else. But the way my husband dresses Sophia, because he's the one that dresses her up for school, the way he dresses her, dresses her up for school, she will wear the shirt she wear jumper, then she wears like tailored trousers, like uniform trousers, then she wears her black uniform shoes, you know, always looking prim and proper. When I'm now going to drop her there, it's almost like I brought a secondary school child to it. <laughs> and speaking of secondary school child, even size difference, even size difference, whenever I'm dropping Sophia at school, it's almost like I'm in the wrong school because she looks like she's their senior with like a few years. She looks six. She looks five years. Let me not say six. She looks five years while most of them look two and three, right? So, coupled with the fact that she now dresses very prim and proper. So, I was even telling him that because we got two uniforms each. We got two shirts for her. We got two jumpers for her. I even got some extra two shirts from the school because in the school, they put out uniforms, like pre-loved, pre-used uniforms that you can just take. So, I just went through them and I got two that were really nice. I mean, they've been worn before, but they looked kind of new. So, I took those two. That's four uniforms for somebody who goes to school three times a week. Tell me why this morning he just told me, oh, um, the kids' uniform, are, the kids' uniforms are arriving today. And I was like, which kids' uniforms? He was like, oh, he ordered uniforms from George. I'm like, when did you even start ordering things from George? Because I'm the one that orders things from George. Anyway, so the uniforms arrived though. He bought extra sportswear for for um Cora. He brought extra shirts for Sophia. So, so Sophia now is going to have a total of seven shirts for three days of schooling. Like. I don't, what's, is it seven shirts? Four, plus this two, six shirts for three days of schooling. She's going to be wearing two at once. What I wanted to get was even the jumper because I think they wear the jumpers almost throughout the day and I'm always seeing stains on her jumper. I feel like we should just get more for her. Then he got extra uniform trousers for Sophia and for Ava. I'm like, I now have to tell him that, see, I should have told him before anyway that she can actually wear any any trouser. They didn't really specify trouser or top or skirt. I mean, they didn't really specify trouser or skirt or anything. I don't even know whose zone this is. Eight to nine years should be Ava. So this is Ava's zone. This is Sophia's zone. Sophia's zone is five to six. And I'm just like, why? Yeah. But I love these. They are so nice. Just look at how cute these things are. And they have shape. Oh. They have shape. They're like, they're so cute. <laughs> They are actually so cute and they fit them very well. So it's cute, sha. Huh? But I'm going to tell him, oh guys, enough. It have do. This is this is actually too much at this point. So because of it now, I have to go and declutter their rooms. I, I need to go through all their uniforms and all their clothes and declutter a lot because they are beginning to have too many clothes. Um for the clothes ones, sha, I'm going to just 
pack them and put them inside the storage because you know because of the season and stuff so most of their clothes they don't really wear them as much now because the, the weather is getting colder now the weather is actually getting really cold now um yeah so i also got something from amazon what i ordered yesterday i can't even remember what i ordered oh my phone case so yeah i ordered a phone case you guys i cannot have phone without that case although my phone should be my phone still spoiled even though even though it was not a case issue by the way you guys i had to buy a new phone i had to buy samsung s24 i couldn't just wait for next year i wanted to buy iphone because it was even the same price or around the same price that's to buy iphone 16 but i don't want to start learning iphone in old age i just don't want a phone that after spending so much on it i'll start regretting i'll start getting angry so that's why i just had to buy s24 it's still paining me like i said i'm just a baby I don't buy phones for myself. You see phone, you see wristwatch, you see perfumes. Those are things I don't buy for myself. Even laptop, okay? The only reason why I bought this laptop for myself was because that was when I got the YouTube black phones. I was like, okay, let me buy laptop. I know that I use the phones for something relating to my channel. Aside that, I don't have to buy laptop for myself, okay? You see that thing that people say, oh, spending your own money. I think I've said it before here. Oh, how women say, oh, that they have this joy in making their own money and spending their own money. I don't have that joy I don't, I don't get, I can't relate. I don't get it. I mean, I like making money to buy things for my kids, <laughs> to buy things for my husband, to buy things for my, for my friends, for my family. I like that, right? But to spend on myself, I don't like it. It doesn't give me any form of joy. I don't derive joy from it. When the money for my phone left my account, I was like, I couldn't take it. I had to message my husband immediately. I started lamenting to him. And my plan is to disturb him until he gives me that money back. Because, or at least some of the money back. I know he won't give me that money back, Shah. And yeah, so I, I had to buy the phone. I thought I was going to be able to trade in my former phone. First of all, let me even go back. I was supposed to fix my former phone. It is not, it's under warranty in Nigeria, but because I didn't buy it from the UK, they cannot fix it. I said, okay, fine, no wahala. Let me trade it in and buy a new phone. Only for me to now see that they said that for me to be, for the phone to be eligible for trade in, the phone has to be able to be powered on. And that's the only issue my phone has. It cannot be powered on. So I took the phone to a repairer. They checked the phone and said that it is a motherboard problem. So I'm now even asking myself, why did I now go ahead and buy another Samsung? knowing that the one I had before just had motherboard issue. Not the motherboard issue. It's like, it's, it's basically the phone is dead. There's nothing you can do about it. If you're going to change motherboard, it's as good as you have bought a, you bought a new phone, right? So, why did I go and buy Samsung again? But again, this is my old phone. This is S21. And this is one I went back to. This is my old phone. is still Samsung. I've been using it for years. My, my husband's phone is Samsung. He has been using it for years and they've not had issues. So, that's the only reason why I still went ahead and bought the Samsung Go. But how can my phone have motherboard issue, issues? So anyway, you guys, I just came to lament small for that one because that thing pained me. I just wish that I didn't have to buy a new phone because I wasn't planning to buy a new phone. My plan was to buy S26. I keep saying it. You guys think it's a joke. My plan was that, okay, when S26 comes out in the next two years, that's when I will now change my phone because I was actually fine with my S23. But, you know, it's all good. Anyway, so I had to buy ziplock bags i had to buy these ziplock bags that's what came in this pack i had to buy it because you guys i want to do give, give wig giveaways right but the problem i've been having with my wig giveaways is that number one i haven't been able to sort out my wigs you guys i have a lot of wigs because i do a lot of wig videos and after i just finished filming the video i just pack it back and drop it somewhere so right now, I need to go through all my wigs and start bringing them out, start knowing the ones I want to give away to, you know, to you guys and the ones I want to keep for my sister. Because remember, I still have family. I have my sister. I have my sister-in-law. I have my cousins. I have so many people to give wigs to. I have my friends, even though I've given my friends, Sha. I've also done silent, silent giveaways, though, in case you guys don't know. I've actually contacted people directly and sent them wigs especially people in the UK. I'm reserving the ones for Nigeria for when I'm able. That's why I bought these Ziploc bags. So I want to be able to pack, I want to pack all the wigs because normally when I, I'm going all over the place, but you guys just stick with me, right? I'm actually thirsty. Let me just drink water some more. Thirsty. So the wigs I've been giving away here in the UK, I've been giving them away with their boxes because it's just nicer to give away the wigs with the boxes and all the things inside. And, you know, I just pay for shipping and it goes and, you know, I don't mind, right? But if I'm going to be sending wigs to Nigeria, I need to be able to pack all these wigs in a very compact way so that when I now send it to Nigeria, maybe somebody will help me now share it to the people that, you know, win the giveaway. So that was why I now went ahead to buy these Ziploc bags. 
I would sort out all the wigs. Like, I would bring them out from their boxes, press them very well, put them inside these Ziploc bags, you know, and make it compact, then packages and send to Nigeria. So just watch out for it. If you really want to win a wig from me, then please try and engage on my wig videos because that's where I get my winners from. I really don't like announcing wig giveaways because once you announce it, both those who don't watch your wig videos though, those that don't even know who you are, those that just scroll on YouTube and see wig giveaways, they will enter for it. And I want my real OG watchers and subscribers. I know some of them by name, oh, that's to tell you that. I pay attention to these things, okay? I know some of them by name. I mean the ones that leave a comment. I know some of them by name. That's how I even got the ones that I actually sent to, because I know them by name. Like, I went to their, I went to their Instagram, found them, and sent them the wigs. I just didn't want to loud it, because once you loud things like that, then everybody will now start bombarding you, and you won't be able to control it or, you know, manage it. So, there are two people that are outstanding. I still remember you. There's one lady that is in Malta. Yes, I still remember you. I haven't, I just got distracted and I forgot and I was supposed to find a way to send that wig to Malta. I think I figured it out now. I think I'm going to use um, like the normal post, post, postage here, the UK mail. I think I'll use them because I tried to use, I tried to use, um, <laughs> I tried to use DHL. Um, uh, if you see the amount they quoted for me, I was like, it's not better for me to sell the wig and dash the person the money because the amount is and send that wig to Malta was not small. So you guys, I'm having so truth and I feel sick. So yeah, I was even saying that's why I haven't sent that wig to you in Malta. But trust me, I have it in mind. I have a really nice wig that I kept for you. Like your name is even on the wig, your address, everything. But I've just not had the. It's not. I won't even say time is the problem. I don't think it's just time. I think it's just my brain has been all over the place. So I keep forgetting that I have a wig to go and send out. Not even a wig. I have two weeks to send out. One other person is also in the UK here. Um, the other person is in Malta. So I'll send to those people. But yeah, that's basically how I do my wig giveaways. Because I keep seeing people asking me, oh, you know, do we give away, do we give away? You have heard my reasons why I don't really announce. There's one that I announced anyway. I'm going to pick a winner this week and contact the winner, right? But aside that, that one, I don't think I'm going to announce subsequently when I'm doing the giveaways. I'll just go back to my normal method of contact the person from the comment section and keep it moving. I think there are two people I asked for their email addresses and I don't, I don't think they responded to me. Or maybe they did, I didn't go back to that post. I'll go and look for it, chat. But... So, that's why I bought these bags. I want to pack them in here, compress it very well, you know, make the package very tight, and then send it. The only thing is that all the accessories, I think I'll remove all the accessories because, you know, they are nice accessories, accessories, but I don't want them to start costing me extra to ship because it's not like these companies are paying me for shipping. You know, uh, yeah, like I'm taking out of my personal money to actually go and pay for this shipping. So, that's why... I need to make the package as light as possible. But if you are if you are in the UK or somewhere close to the UK and you win a giveaway, I will send it to you with the box and everything inside. <sighs> the issue now is which day am I going to have time to do all these things? Because 24 hours is not enough for me. Oh. I cannot lie. It's not enough for me. So this is my package. This is my phone. I'm not even that excited about this phone. This phone came and I bought this phone yesterday and it came today. Why is it shaking like this too much inside now? Ready to, to start and pull this to okay. So that's my receipts. That's my screen protector. They just sent me this screen protector with the purchase. And then that's my phone. Chicky, 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 chicky. I like the color. It's like purple. They call it space purple or something like that. Or is it gray purple? I don't know. It's like purple. It kind of looks blue. Let me first put the case before I even start. Eh? Let me first put the case. Even though case is not the problem. But let me first put the case before I start. Because I did not pay for warranty. But what is that thing? Like either you pay 200 and whatever 50 something pounds. In case of theft and stuff like insurance, or you pay hundred and some hundred and seven something pounds for just in case of the in case the thing spoils. I was like, I know they pay, I know they pay. The phone will not spoil in Jesus' name. I keep asking my husband what exactly caused the motherboard to to crash, but him is saying that it can be water. Maybe over time the thing was now rusting. I was like, my phone never enters water. This is the kind of case my phone carries. Like. I don't buy fancy cases. I don't even buy... I buy all these rugged cases that look like a, a tire. 
that's the kind of cases I buy. So I don't know where the water situation would have come in from, you know. But he was saying, or oh, maybe over time a part removed, like from the motherboard, maybe a part removed, and you know, whatever, whatever the case is, it's not my fault. That's all I got from what he said. Because I wanted to say, ah, uh -uh, what did I do? Like, how am I using the phone? Because him, he kept telling me that, hey, because I'm always pressing my initially. That what he first said that. It's because of the way I use phone. I'm like, what? how do I use phone that the phone will just off like that and never come on? Like, come on now. Come on. But, you know, it's all good. But anyway, you guys, I'll talk to you later on. Let me finish configuring my phone and plan my strategy on how to get my husband to give me the money back. Because... <laughs>